Imagine spacecraft flying in perfect formation with laser beams going between them, figuring out exactly what and how space is bending and waving in between. Ho oh, ho. That'll be exciting. I love that. But flying in formation, things out in space, hmm, that is reminding me of something that is actually significant right now. Leslie, I think you have some insight on this. Oh, gosh, I really don't. (laughs) (laughs) Well, tell us what happened here. Folks, this is something that I really am happy to address here on The Lunarverse. A special question about something right in the news that seems cosmic, but is it really? Things flying in formation, or are they? What is happening out there? The drones. Tell us, Leslie. Well, I mean, I don't know more about it than any of you, but I do have to say the pictures I've seen online, they look like drones. So I don't (laughs) know that an alien (laughs) presence would look exactly like a commercial off-the-shelf drone, (laughs) unless they're so clever they mimicked it. Well, to be fair, we have sent a drone to another planet. We sent the one to Mars. That's true. So no, maybe they, they could send them back. You never know. <laughs> That's true. John, have you seen any of these strange drone-like devices out in space or out in the sky? Uh, I really wish I would. Um, I, in Chicago, we haven't gotten any uh, crazy drone stuff yet. But I personally am not ruling out aliens. I'm, okay. I truly am still on that uh, on that path. I believe it. I believe okay. it. Okay. Okay. Stacy, how about you? Have you seen these drones? Uh, I've been reading about them very near me, but I haven't seen any myself. Yeah, me too. I'm in, I'm in the same boat. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen any any specifically drones. I mean, I've seen like other drones before this news story, but but since the news story is broken, I, I haven't seen any special drones that, that looked undrony or even drony, uh, but weird. <laughs> yeah, I do well. kind of wonder why... Because there are plenty of like amateur drone operators out there, and I'm sure yeah. a lot of them fly at night. So why all of a sudden is everyone freaking out over seeing drones in the sky? Well, this maybe question. there's just too many of them than compared to usual. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And from what I understand, too, the size is kind of a factor. I heard the, one was yeah. as big as a car, but I don't know how they're measuring that. Right. That's yeah, true. I, I don't know either. I know. I just know from how many drones American manufacturers are sending over to Ukraine right now. There's mm. oh, wow. the, the the amount of size and like how undetectable they've become. Mm-hmm. It, mm-hmm. I, I'm just wondering if like a contractor was like testing stuff and then it got visually seen and then it just I, I don't know. But, that very um, well could be something like that. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like just some yeah. military contractor or just a, a private drone company is just out here being like, hmm, let's fly all these around. Oh, uh <laughs> right. I guess we made the news. <laughs> well, and then there well, could be the copycats who are like, well everybody's talking about drones. Let um, me fly some yeah. too, you know? Yeah. So yeah. Let me fly my, my drone to see if I can see my neighbor's drone. <laughs> and then vice versa. <laughs> my understanding is some of them were seen near military bases. But That's true. That there are always, a few of those in New Jersey. Yeah. yeah, but wasn't that always kind of the case that there was a lot of covert military technology being tested yes. and people yeah. are like, oh, it's a UFO in the military. Are like, great. Let them think it's aliens <laughs> rather than our military secrets getting out. That's people. true. Isn't it like that has always been the case. It's more yeah. of this. I, well, I mean, I, I re- I've personally visited them. There is a, a military base in New Jersey that does like tests of stuff. Um, and Picatinny Arsenal, I think, is the one I, I was at. Ooh. Yeah, so I don't know if they're responsible for these drones. They might not be, but they, they have <laughs> there have been some declassified military projects that they've worked on there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I think uh, you guys are all uh, talking completely correctly. Uh, even though there is a possibility that these are truly unidentified flying objects or the, in, the, in the modern lingo, uh, unidentified aerial whatever phenomena yeah yeah uh, phenomena um, there is nothing yet that if you're actually looking at it could not be explained by an existing technology such as a drone now they do look weird sometimes but you yeah. can paint your drone right? yeah, that's you don't true. have to follow the rules uh, they might fly in formation that might feel weird but actually drones fly in formation all the time uh, if you watch the Macy's Fourth of July fireworks, there were hundreds of drones up there spelling Macy's. You know, yeah. in the sky. <laughs> True. Uh, so I, I, I also know that there are uh, hundreds of thousands of 
certified drone flyers in the United States alone. Mm. And so imagine somebody who is not certified or somebody who doesn't know the rules or someone who decides to flaunt the rules and say, you know what, I'm just going to play and just do stuff in ways that, that freak people out. True. Right? And, yeah. and that is something that can happen because uh, it is a little bit freaky. We just don't know what they come from. If we know, oh, those are just people with drones, you know, who cares? But that air of mystery makes them exciting and unusual. And unfortunately, if people are careless about operating these drones, um, a little dangerous for people who are flying aircraft and things like that. Well, I, I heard, uh, yeah, they messed up Stewart Airport, right? In Orange Stewart, County, in New Stewart, York. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They are Stay supposed to uh, file flight plans if they're going to be mm -hmm. going a certain height and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and, and drone operators um, for certain like commercial um, enterprises need to be licensed and file yeah. FAA flight plans. Yeah. Now, now, whether they do or not is, is another story, but. Mm -hmm. But there's, they should be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I, I received an email from an amateur astronomer on the East coast of the United States who sent me an email and he said, this is not technically a question, but it was just a thing saying, you know, I was doing some observing and I saw four or five lights and they were flying in formation and they went right by me and out toward the bay. And it was a little unnerving, right? Yeah. And it wasn't unnerving because he did, he thought that they were UFOs or aliens or whatever, but it was unnerving because they were just flying. And, well, and, yeah. You know, I mean, you that's know fair. You know, yeah. there's Starlink it, it, now, too, with millions of satellites flying in formation, yeah. people freaking out, too, you know? That's well, true. It'll be a while before we get to millions. If we get to millions of those little low-lying satellites, I, I think we'll have millions. a Kessler problem. Yeah, I think we're sure. looking on the thousands. Yeah. But even but, thousands yeah, is thousands a lot. Still that's a lot. true. And, yes. and to be fair, if people call them UFOs, they are unidentified and flying in objects. Yeah. So... There you go. There's there's John. John is vindicated. Awesome. <laughs> I don't want nice. to say it's aliens, but I just I don't you know. It, can we rule it out? That's the question. Can we rule it out? And no, we can't. Yeah, you know we can't rule it out, but that doesn't mean we can rule it in either. Uh, yeah. well, that's always that's always the tension, right? Like the people who want to say it's aliens because they want to believe, or like you can't rule it out, mm -hmm. and then you have the Carl Sagan side of extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence that's right. That's yeah right. it'd be nice if it were aliens but <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not that you can't rule it out is that mm -hmm. if you can come up with ex explanations that aren't as far field it's more likely to be yes. that, that yeah. that's, that's think, not as I fun right. but good old Bayesian yeah. Occam's razor is real real smooth on this the one simplest yeah. explanation yeah. Is yeah. The best. Yeah. that's <laughs> real yeah wow. I'm I'm cool with that. And yeah, I, I just hope that uh, things continue to be interesting and strange and not dangerous. I agree. We'll see how that goes.